This is the Radio Free Cybertron uh, review of uh, the San Diego Comic Con reveals, uh, the Transformers reveals from this morning's press event, as well as the uh, Transformers Combiner Wars panel uh, held on July 9th, 2015. So, guys, the biggest reveal today, uh, would you say it's uh, one of the action figures or that it's the new uh, Combiner Wars animated series coming to Machinima? We just recorded Radio Free Cybertron, the original and best Transformers podcast. You should check it out at tfradio.net. And uh, it seems, based on our previous discussion, that it's actually probably G2 Superion. Yeah. Well, we kind of had a hint that that was coming anyway. The Combiner Wars animated series, we had no idea about. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to say that's probably the biggest reveal we had today. Yeah, and that's going to be on Machinima, and it will be geared towards uh, teens and adults. Uh, and, of course, uh, that uh, me because it's on Machinima means it'll be available digitally on the interwebs. We don't, we have no more details other than that. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a thing that exists. The thing that exists. But what we know uh, does exist is G2 Superion, and it is a thing of beauty. Very much so. It, it, and and we get our very first ever G2 Power Glide in the set. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. it, it's pretty amazing. Uh, and of course, all of the uh, decos of the toys are super uh, duper uh, faithful to the uh, original G2 toys, which makes me very happy. It turns out that the uh, designers actually went out and bought uh, a G2 Superion so that they could get the decos uh, nice and accurate. So right now we are looking at uh, the robot mode for Silverbolt. It's beautiful. And uh, here is Powerglide in his uh, G2 glory. Uh, as I pointed out uh, in Radio Free Cybertron, it would be a little nicer if he was chromed out like other G2 minibots, but um, that you know gigantic... Autobot symbol on his chest will have to suffice. Uh, here is Skydive, uh, again, faithful to the G2 toy. Uh, Firefly, uh, faithful again. Uh, Quickslinger is beautiful in gold, and just like uh, G2 Slingshot. Not Alpha Bravo. Yeah, it's not Alpha Bravo. And unlike uh, G2 Slingshot, this will not crumble to dust. So uh, overall, what do you think about um, the aerial bots, guys? Well, for me... The G2 version of Superion does one thing with the, with the Aerobot molds. It really breaks them up and makes them – they're still a cohesive whole, but they're in, they have a lot more individuality now, even as Superion, because it's not just a bunch of white and red combined jets. Yeah, I would agree with that. And so you know, it, it's still a cohesive whole, as cohesive as some G2 color schemes can be, but – you you get a little bit more personality in each character too. Yeah, and it's again very faithful to the G two toy, which is interesting. Again, of course, because the toy is twenty two years old at this point, and of course, uh, it really shows that the line is kind of skewed toward adults. And you know, three or four years ago, I would have absolutely said that Transformers are not skewed towards adults, but they kind of are. So uh, another G two uh, combiner that we got uh, was uh, G two Minosaur. And uh, this was kind of a surprise. I mean, we expected it, but I didn't. I don't think we expected it. Um, the soon, yeah, the soon. And the thing is, uh, we got both revealed the, at the same time. That's just weird. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I love this G two Menasaur. It just looks so nice. And, and it will run you slightly less than the original prototypes that are back on eBay. For so like forty thousand dollars or however much it's for. <laughs> it's actually going to cost less than the not breakdown third party G two Menosaur or you know G two G two yeah. colored. Oh yeah, ca he's, car yeah. crash. Mouthful. Yeah, yeah, car crash. He was about seventy or eighty bucks, wasn't he? He was about a hundred bucks. I think. Oh, so yeah, this is less expensive than just one piece. And again, yeah. that we're yeah, that, again that was a convention exclusive too, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. it was. Yeah. So very, this is not. Yeah. Uh, very pleased with these. Yeah. Yeah, I am. I am super happy with these. I'm hoping they sell well enough that we that we get Defensor and Bruticus. Devastator would be nice too. Just Throwing that out there, um. <laughs> I uh, well, I almost little... expected a Devastator before we saw all these guys. Uh, yeah, but... me too. I I think we all did. Yeah. 
And the thing about it, though, uh, do I expect that to happen? Yeah, but probably not all at the same time. Which I I expect we'll see uh, Defense War and Devastator next because it kind of looks like these are coming out in the in the order that the uh, Combiner Wars are being released. The uh, third Combiner that we saw, and actually the first one I think that was revealed, uh, was uh, Victorion, which is the fan built Combiner. Uh, the fans voted on the components, the personalities, the names, and everything, right, to uh, to put this together. I didn't follow this. I know, uh, Melvar, you did, right, Matt? Yeah, uh, we didn't vote on names. We didn't vote on names, okay. No. Those are not our fault. <laughs> yes, they... Well, I do like uh, Pyra Magna. I do yeah. like that name, but that's that's the only name I like. Everything else is pretty generic. On some, um, of, on some of these, there's some heavy retooling. Uh, there's, there's pretty extensive retooling on this. Uh, the combiner head, for one, is a brand new sculpt. All of the individual characters have new heads. A lot of them have new forearms with new hands. And a couple of them have new chest plates. And they all have new weapons that combine together to form a really awesome sword. And yeah, the combiner missiles. itself has new hands and new feet. Yes. They're not the interchangeable hands and feet. Unfortunately, the feet are high heels. Which but is, they yeah, have but joints. that works yes. for this character. Not really. I, but it does but have it, ankle tilts, so... Yeah. But functionally speaking, the high heels were not great on Windblade, I'll tell you that. So, yeah. The uh, other uh, reveal, the, I guess the other big reveal today wasn't really a reveal so much as it was uh, new footage from um, the upcoming game Transformers uh, Devastation. Uh, and I, I guess where I got conflicting uh, uh, information, it, it, does Transformers Dev Devastation tie in at all with the Combiner Wars? cartoon because some of the information I saw seemed to imply that it did. I haven't read anything about that. As far as I know, they're kind of trying to say it ties into the Combiner Wars storyline, but since everybody looks so G1, you know, it, it remains to be seen how much that's actually going uh, going to you know play I, out. Yeah, I think it ties into the Combiner Wars stuff as there's a Combiner in it, and as that's about as far as it seems to go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but it looks great. I am super excited. I cannot wait for this game to come out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, guys, I believe that's pretty much the bulk of the uh, announcements from today. Thank you for your time. Sure. Not a problem. Not a problem.